Meet Hank. He's a hacker with a big idea. But launching a startup company by himself sounds a little scary and lonely. He also hates selling and marketing. He knows he needs someone to partner with, someone who can share his journey, fill his gaps, help him build something amazing. But where to look? Hank starts with friends, family, former dorm mates, and co-workers. They seem like good, safe bets, but he wonders, are they really the right choice for him? Do they really help his idea go from good to great? What if Hank could get beyond his network and really explore the entrepreneurial ecosystem for potential co-founders? Today, there are more than 12 million Americans and 210 million people globally starting new companies. We also know that more than half of the millennial generation is interested in starting their own company. Hank has heard that the hacker hustler designer trio is a ticket to success in the high tech space. But how does he know that the hustlers and designers he interviews are the right match for him and his idea? Will they make a great team with Hank? One that can withstand the ups and downs of startup life? Just because someone has a complementary skill set match for Hank's doesn't mean that they are the right co-owner for his idea. What if Hank could not only get the right skill set match, but also the right personality and values match for him and his idea? The science of matching co-founders is at an early stage, but new research on entrepreneurial personality traits and the relationship dynamics between co-founding teammates, as well as experience in facilitating those matches through meetups and online experiences, have emerged. Together, they're shining a light on how to build a successful startup team and culture and how to sustain those over time. Come learn about the ins and outs of building the right co-founding team from both a research and a practical perspective at the Co-Founders Quandary presentation by Dr. Julie Edge and Shahab Kavayani.